Mr. Board, how are you doing this evening? I'm here today in regards to the matter at hand that we're doing on March 12th. I just want to read something from the public record. In the more signed for American Divine Constitution Bylaws, proper warning to the nation, just in brief. It says the citizens of all free national governments, according to their national constitution, are all one family bearing one free national name. Those who fail to recognize the free national name, that constitutional government, are classed as undesirables and are subject to all inferior names, abuses, and mistreatments that the citizens care to be so upon them. And it is a sin for any group of people to violate the national constitutional law or free national government claims the names and principles at the root of slavery. Do you rule a doubt where I, the prophet, and my principles are right for the redemption of my people? Go to those that know law in the city hall and amongst the officials in your government and ask them under an intelligent tone, and they would be glad to render you a favorable reply. For they are glad to see me bring you out of darkness into light. Act 4 of our divine constitution and bylaws says, All members obey these holy divine laws, and all members obey the laws of government. So by me being the most American, we are part and parcel of this government and must live to life accordingly. Act 5 of our divine constitution and bylaws says, This organization is the more assigned to the government not to cause any confusion or to overthrow the laws and constitution of the state government of the baby in their body. I was here in regards to Act 6 that says that with us, our members must proclaim their free national name. Because according to 1865, our people were classified as Negroes, Blacks, Colored, and Ethiopians. Under these tags and statuses, we received no due process at law. As I'm hearing today, a lot of our citizens are still being grieved in regards to the obligation that you have according to the public trust. I'm here in concern of that same matter. The county clerk's office was here as a liaison between our organization, which has been functioning for over uh, 100 years, in regards to filing our documentation to get from under these tags as Negro, Blacks, Colored, and Ethiopian. I brought this to the floor on the 12th, and Chairman said he was going to have an answer for me. And I'm here today to ask, was there a remedy in regards to the question that I posed for the chair board, in regards to this miscellaneous file? that have been in operation for over 100 years now. I myself have filed documentation in one of the counties of the state department. And I went to go see if the instrument in the book and page number was there in regards to the filing. It's no longer there. So we need to know, as citizens of the state republic in all the different territories, how why has this miscellaneous dollar been taken out? I hear the rest of my time. Anyone else wishing to speak? Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the council and fellow freeholders. I am Erwin Lee John Twinell. I am domiciled in Plainfield Territory. Mr. Chairman, I was here as my fellow Moorish American Brethren say, on the 12th, on March 12th of this year, 2015, and I was here to reiterate the proclamations. And when I say proclamations, to proclaim that I am a Moorish American. Now, History, according to history, there was a time of slavery. Now, I'm not here to bring back that, that karma. I'm not here for that. But according to Act 6 of our divine constitution and bylaws, with us, all members must proclaim their nationality. And we are teaching our people their nationality and their divine creed. That they may know that they are a part and parcel of this said government. 
and know that they are not Negroes, colored folks, black people, or Ethiopians. Because these names were given to slaves by slaveholders in 1779 and lasted until 1865 during the time of slavery. But this is a new era of time now. This is 2015. This is a new era of time now. And all men must now proclaim their free national name to be recognized by the government in which they live and the nations of the earth. This is the reason why Allah, the great God of the universe, ordained Noble Juali, the prophet, to redeem his people from their sinful ways. The Moorish Americans are the descendants of the ancient Moabites whom inhabited the northwestern and southwestern shores of Africa. So, Mr. Chairman, I say that when I must proclaim, this is part of my divine creed, this is part of my divine law, our divine constitution as a Moorish American. I am attempting to stay aligned with my ancestors. As Moorish Americans, our contributions to society have been tremendous. We are here to teach the citizens, to educate the citizens, to participate with the citizens and our government. Mr. Chairman, my fez or turban, it's a symbol, it's, it's, it's my headdress, it's our headdress. So if I'm in the public view not wearing it, I don't want to be construed or conceived to be a black man, an African American, ETC. We go to our county officials for this so that we can proclaim to stay in the line with our divine constitution. Thank you for your time. Thank you. There was also comments made relative uh, from speakers relative to the county clerk's office. That, that is also another uh, entity uh, separate and apart from the, the, the freeholder board. Um, we will re reiterate and, and uh, attempt to get that information to the county clerk as well. Uh, I don't know if there was a misunderstanding in prior weeks when, when I, I believe I was said to have said that I would have an answer. Um, I don't have an answer to the, to the question. Um, I, I don't 100% understand the issue uh, that, that, is, that is being put forth. Uh, but we will attempt to contact the county clerk's office and hopefully uh, she can resolve this uh, for you. Uh, 